Hello and welcome. I am Nilanjana Banerjee. It is a serious situation and it is happening right at India's doorstep in Bangladesh. It concerns the minorities there and the big question is just how safe are Hindus in Bangladesh? We have seen Hindus targeted, temples vandalized and attacks on Durga Puja pandals. I am a Bengali Hindu woman and I was in Bangladesh a decade ago and I have visited Durga Puja there. This felt very, very personal. There seems to be little freedom to practice your faith there. But what is happening now is more worrying. Bangladesh now wants to remove the words secularism and socialism from its constitution. Is secularism a bad word? And what's wrong with socialism? Bangladesh's highest law officer, the Attorney General, has told the High Court that the two terms do not reflect the reality. The reality, according to him, is that 90% of the population in Bangladesh is Muslim. This move has raised concerns that Bangladesh is moving in the direction of becoming a Muslim state. It's almost like East Pakistan. Scary thought. It also comes at a time violence against minorities like Hindus have seen an uptick. And remember, there is an interim government in Bangladesh led by a Nobel laureate and who is supposedly liberal. But Attorney General Asadu Zaman wants the court to declare the 15th Amendment unconstitutional. So what is the 15th Amendment? The 15th Amendment was passed in 2011 when Sheikh Hasina's Awami League was in majority. The Awami League said then that nationalism, secularism, socialism and democracy are foundational principles of Bangladesh's state policy. But the Eunice-led caretaker government does not seem to agree. The Attorney General also accused Awami League of politicizing Mujibur Rahman for its own narrow gains. Just imagine targeting the father of the nation. But the recent student protest, which was triggered by a controversial reservation issue, triggered nationwide agitations. There was violence, people died, Mujibur Rahman's statues defiled, and the president's residence stormed. That eventually saw the fall of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's government on the 5th of August earlier this year. Some of those students are now part of the interim government. Many called it a movement for change. Change for what and for whom? Can't Bangladesh have a collective national identity? You decide.